Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to wait for seconds in Unity. So in my case, I want to make a script which creates a cube every two seconds. So it creates a cube, waits for two seconds and creates a cube and waits for two seconds and so on and so on. To do this, we first need a cube. So I go to the hierarchy window, make a right click, hover over 3D object and select cube. In the inspector, I set its position to zero, zero, zero. This will be the cube we clone every two seconds. Next, we go to the project window, make a right click here, create and C sharp script. We call it cube generator. I double click on it to open it. And first we need our reference to our cube we want to clone. So I have write public game object cube. And now the most, the best way to call a method every two seconds is using coroutines. You could also write some, you could also write something that works with the update method, but the most efficient way is using coroutines with wait for seconds. So in this case, we make a coroutine. It's an I enumerator and we call this coroutine create cube. Now we have to write yield return new wait for seconds. And in the brackets, we can type the amount of time we want to wait. So every time this coroutine gets called, it waits for two seconds and then executes the code that is written here. Um, so there we want to clone our cube. Um, and we do this by instantiating our cube. Instantiate is like cloning. So we call instantiate cube. And we want to set its position to a random value. So we say clone dot transform dot position equals new vector three. And here I put random dot value. This gives us a value between zero and one, a random value times 10. So now we have a random value between zero and 10 and we can leave the y position at zero. And I also want the same random value times 10 for the set position. So the cu the clone cube will be somewhere between zero and 10. Um, yeah, it, it, it will, the, the x and the set position will both be between zero and 10. Okay, cool. But now we also have to call this coroutine and the coroutine, you can't just call it like uh, you would call a normal method because a normal method, you would just call like this. No, a coroutine, you have to start a coroutine. So we write start coroutine and then we put our coroutine inside. And we want to start our coroutine also again after we created our cube because um, we want to create it every two seconds and not just only once. So down here we call our create cube coroutine again and this makes it a recursive method because it calls itself again. We save our script, go back to Unity and now we drag and drop our new script on the main camera. And now it asks us to set the cube attribute. So we drag and drop the cube to our cube generator component on the main camera right here. Just drag and drop it. So let's see what happens. Yeah, every two seconds, a new cube gets generated. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just write in the comments. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.